and I'm telling everybody I can hold a tune. I might not can't sing like Beyonce, but I can hold a tune, okay? Hey everyone, my name is Keyshante Chantel. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, what is up? If you have never been here before, I need you to stop what you're doing. Go ahead and subscribe to the family. Join, we are lit over here. You are missing out. So go ahead and take care of that. But as always, this is the look that we are going for today. So Beyonce dropped some pictures for her new British Vogue cover look and this was one of the looks that she did the makeup of course and it was just flawless it caught my eye it was just so so beautiful and I just said that I had to recreate it so this is the look that we are going to be doing today in this video so if you want to see how I got this look then baby just keep on tuning in and we're just going to get straight into the video okay so this video is just going to be all about face because mother is serving like so Beyonce is just serving in this video like it if you know you know Beyonce always gives the girls she feeds us the beehive she feeds us if you didn't know I am a huge fan of Beyonce and I'm also a huge fan of BTS um those are probably outside of the navy and the bobs those are probably the two largest I would say fan bases in the world no shade to any other fan base it just it is what it is people love Beyonce people love BTS that's just that on that so like I said this video is all about face Beyonce is serving it's not overly dramatic it's very it's very like she would say renaissance um, the face is very warm the lips are the focal point of the video the eyes are not like overly done she doesn't have like the extreme lashes so that is what we are going for so I'm gonna first start off with my Mario Badescu this is the facial spray with the aloe herbs and rose water so we're just gonna saturate the skin because we want to be hydrated so I don't know if I want to use pencil for my brows. What are we doing here? This eyeshadow palette, it is not new. It came out about a year ago. Um, unfortunately, I just waited to the last moment to get it. This is the Mickey and Friends palette from Morphe. This palette is so beautiful. Like, honestly, these four colors I know that probably was weird those four colors alone sold me on the palette but this eye look that Beyonce has is very bronzy and so this creative collision um this one right here I'm definitely going to be using that because <laughs> because yes ma'am um so let's see the only thing I might run into problems with is because Beyonce's makeup artist I believe his name is Sir John I don't know if he did this specifically but if you know Beyonce you know her makeup artist and um, this lip I I'm not gonna be using the same exact products that she used of course but um, this is an inspired look let's just keep that in mind so what I first want to do is I want to start off with um, I'm not gonna use a primer just because um, I don't want to but I am gonna start off with 
my concealer. I'm going to use the Golden Beige. This is the Born This Way concealer um, from Too Faced Cosmetics. I'm just going to put that under the eye. And then, like I said, we're going to try to keep this as natural as possible. Nothing too cakey, nothing too dramatic. We're just going to start blending that out with the NARS. This is my regular Degula. I love NARS foundation. It's everything. This one is in the shade Syracuse and this one is the Radiant Longwear. Um, definitely a staple in my collection. I love this foundation. I wonder if this is the darker one. It looks, I don't know. We're gonna go with it. So what did you guys think when you first heard Break My Soul? Because I can tell you right now, um, when I first heard it, I was just kind of like, you know, I don't know, I didn't know. I expected something different from her and I think that's the beautiful thing about Beyonce is because what you think that you're gonna get, she always reinvents herself like every time she comes out with an album it's a different different vibe it's a different look and so you know I just wasn't sure this time around what her sound was gonna be like so I had never heard Beyonce do house music before um I've heard Several artists like, you know, Azalea Banks has done it. Um, I know at one point Kanye West, he had tried to get into it with that song Better Day. Um, and there's so, so many artists like CeCe Peniston. I grew up, of course, I'm an 80s baby. So I'm familiar definitely with house music. But again, it was different from Beyonce. So when I first heard it, I was just kind of like, I don't know. And then the second time I started listening to it, I was just like, okay, this is probably going to grow on me. And now I have listened to that song probably six times a day since it has come out. I think it's what the world needed at this moment because there's just so much going on that is just very, it's heavy, it's heavy. And um, Beyonce will give you that feel good music. So as you can see, the foundation is not heavy at all. It's still very light. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna go back in with concealer again, but I am gonna go in with some setting powder. I'm going to do is this in a long time. This is the Makeup Revolution. This is the setting powder in the shade Lace. This one has a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. So you would just want to choose a shade that's going to be, of course, best for you. But again, like I said, there's so much stuff going on in the world and this channel is definitely not a political channel. Um, but there's a lot going on in the world right now. And I think um, we just all need peace. We've always needed peace. All right, and I'm just gonna dab a little bit in the center of my forehead. You can get these little puffs like this from any local beauty supply. I know Sally sells them. Any Asian beauty supply has them. That. And then I'm going to reference this picture again because, you know, her cheeks are very warm. But how about this? We're going to get started. We're going to get started on the eyebrows now. So I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their clear brow gel. And I'm just going to run that through my brows. Her brows are very shapely. I know right now they have that whole feathered brow look that's in style. Um, I didn't jump on that trend because I didn't really like it. I felt like I was seeing a lot of girls do it and it was too over exaggerated. Um, and I don't like the caterpillar look. It's just not for me. So we are just gonna 
put that on. Now, a really good dupe for this, because I think this is like $18, and to me, that is just kind of pricey for a clear brow gel, but you can do the Maybelline one. I have that, but I don't feel like looking for it, so I didn't use that one. And I just want y'all to check out, look at this Hello Kitty Mira that I just got. You can find this at TJ Maxx. If you're into Sanrio or like any of the Hello Kitty things, this is perfect. Look at this. And it turns on. It lights up. I love it. So anyway. One of my many, many hauls and purchases that I don't need, of course. I'm kind of curious to find out what this video that Beyonce is doing is going to look like. I think I'm just gonna do brow powder this time. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Chocolate. My top broke off. That's neither here nor there. We're still gonna use it. I'm really interested to see what this video is going to look like. Um, I could just picture Beyonce doing like that Studio 54 kind of look. Lots of, um, I don't know what you would call it, tool, confetti. I've been a fan of Beyonce for a very long time. Probably since I was 14, because they debuted when she was 15. So she was always my favorite member of the group. And what I like about her brows in this picture, um, her brows are not like overly done so we're not doing the instagram brow this is just me lightly feathering the product through my natural brow and i'm just combing up probably say that is probably going to be it for eyebrows she does have a slight highlight under her brow but to me it could either be concealer where they cleaned it up, but what we're going to do is we're going to take that same golden beige from the Born This Way, and I'm just going to clean up only the tail part of the brow, because that seems to be really where hers is cleaned up the most. And I do apologize if y'all hear the air keeps coming on and off. Um, my microphone actually broke and I just haven't bought another one because I'm always buying something. I feel like the next one that I invest in, I want to pay a lot of money for it. I want one of the road ones. So again, if you hear the air coming back on and off, forgive me, but it's because these lights in this room get extremely hot. And so, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use the MAC NC47. This is a foundation, very, very bronzy. We're gonna use this to bronze up the skin, but I'm also going to use this in my on my eye all over the lid as you can see it's just slightly different um slightly bronzy than what the normal lid looks like so if you have not already stop what you're doing hit the subscribe button join the family because we're gonna be doing more tutorials, more fun stuff. I'm actually thinking about getting into some giveaways very, very soon. Right now, this is probably going to be the extent of this eyeshadow look, um, with the exception of that shade that I was gonna put on before, and I'm going to use my finger to do that. Um, Again, this is the Mickey and Friends. You can get this palette right now from TJ Maxx. So, do you see how it just gives just a little bit of shimmer? That is so pretty. So I'm using my ring finger. No, actually I'm using my middle finger to um, apply that to the center or all over the lid, but starting in the center first, because that's where you really want that gold to 
to pick up. So we're gonna reference this fit this back. Yeah. And Beyonce has the most beautiful eye color. Now, if anything, it looks like she has a little bit of lashes on the outer corner. It does look like they put white um, on the lid portion. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I'm telling everybody I can hold a tune. I might not can't sing like Beyonce, but I can hold a tune, okay? Alright, so like I said, she does have white down on the bottom of the eyelid. I don't know where my white pencil is, and I'm kind of pressed for time. So we're gonna go in with the P. Louise. This is the rumor base in the shade zero. It's just a white. And this is uh, Anastasia Brow Brush, I believe in the number 12. And if it helps, you can always take and pull this down if you have the tendency to be blinking a lot. I know that this is very helpful. Just like if you put mascara on, you can always pull it, pull your eyelid up, and that's very helpful. Just a little tip and trick for you. So what I wanna do, this is um, the Maybelline. This is their gel pencil liner in intense charcoal I am just going to use that and like I said you can take your finger lift your eye up and I am putting that liner like right in the lash line not unless the world ends and something else comes out better than I will forever use Monsieur Big um, this is by Lancome. I typically, the best time to get this mascara is during the 21 Days of Beauty. Now, I was disappointed because last time, 21 Days, it did not go on sale for half off. What do you know? It is. What it is. And also, I don't know if you guys... I'm, I mean, you're watching a tutorial, but this is helpful because if you ever put mascara on and you have a tendency to get it up in this area, if you place your ring finger right here and lift and put your mascara on, it prevents that from happening, but it also gets the mascara where it needs to go. So like, you can tell the difference. I don't have lashes at all. I wasn't blessed with that. That's why I have to buy mine. Now I'm gonna take a powder brush and I'm just gonna knock off any excess powder from where we set our under eyes earlier and whatnot. I'm gonna do a couple, a couple lashes just on the ends. Um, this is the Ardell. These are the not free individuals. I'm going to do this off camera and then I'm going to come right back. All right, so we are back in business. So the only thing that I did was I added a little bit of individuals. I did not put any on the inner corners of the eye. I just put them strictly focusing on the outer parts of the eye. So now what I want to do is Beyonce has this really pretty um, champagne highlight on the inner corners of the eye and I want to take this Sigma. This is the L04 detailed lip brush, but I specifically got this not for the lips. I got it for mm -hmm, excuse me, the inner corners of the eye because sometimes it's hard to find a brush that small. 
right, so I'm gonna take, this is Glisten, and this is from the Carnival, the Antidote palette. I'm just gonna take that shade and put it on the inner corners of the eye. And then I'm gonna take my ring finger and just kinda pat that out because even though she has it on the inner corners of the eye, it's not like, boom, highlight. Um, it's just slightly noticeable, just enough. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the face because this is what really caught me. Um, again, this very bronzed look. I am taking the NC47. This is a foundation powder, but I'm going to use it to bronze up with. So definitely starting from the cheeks. Um, it doesn't look like doesn't look like she has a whole lot of blush on, and the face is not like heavily contoured. So that is not what we're going for here. I would literally wear this makeup out. Um, I don't think that I've ever done my makeup like this before. So I'll definitely be wearing this. It's very simple. This is a look that can be worn during the daytime. It can also be worn at night. And for me, I like to bronze around the perimeter of my face as well. And I'm just gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna use the Clove. This is the number 28 in the Bare Minerals Pro Foundation. And I'm just gonna bronze it up just a little bit more. And I'm glad even though it doesn't, it looks like she has a little bit of individual lashes on. I'm glad that I put them on because I feel like for me, um, this was just recreating her look, of course, but to where I feel like it would be wearable for me love it now we're gonna put just a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes all right so next last but not least we are going to do the lips so the lips I, I already knew and had in my mind the lips was going to be the hardest out of everything just because the makeup look was very soft very warm um, very simple but beautiful but the lips this recreating this color was going to be very hard so what I chose um, I have the buxom this is let's see let me show you guys this lip color So this is the lip color. It's It's got hints of red, it's like a brown, um, very, 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 very pretty color. It's definitely got some shimmer in it. So like I said, this is the Buxom. I need to sharpen this. This one is in Covered Affair. So right now, it's looking, it's transferring a little bit orangey on camera, so I'm gonna tone it down with this uh, brown concealer. This is by NARS, it's in the shade Cacao Dark 2. So now I'm gonna put Park Avenue Princess on top. This is a lip bling from Tarte.
using that Park Avenue Princess did exactly what I needed it to do because it was just giving a little orange and I didn't like that. So now I'm gonna use this lip liner. It's just a brown lip liner and I'm just gonna focus on the outer corners. And we are done, honey. We are done. This makeup is so, so pretty. It is stunning. This makeup is stunning. I am so satisfied with this look. I would have never, ever done this lip before, but um, I am definitely, I'm living. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that is it. That is all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, sticking it out and thugging it out with me. Let me tell you, if you are going through a situation where you are in a bad relationship, then you need to get out of it. If you are working a job that does not appreciate you, you are not making the money that you deserve. Baby, it is time to find you something else. If you are dealing with friends that you are always there for them and they are never there for you, then it is time to find you a new circle or focus on you. Do not let the world and the noise get in. Don't let it break your soul. So again, I am loving this song. This song means a lot to me and it means a lot to the world right now. It's what we need. So I will just say that if you haven't already, Go ahead and stream Beyonce's new song, Break My Soul, and that's it. That's all. Thank you again for tuning in, sticking it out, sticking it out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family because we are always lit over here, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.